I'd like to touch on this theme that exists online, on social media, on YouTube, and in various fitness communities of using deliberate cold exposure to the groin, in particular to the testicles, in order to try and increase testosterone. And while this might sound really kooky, indeed, this practice exists. Indeed, if you were to go on the Amazon, there are actually um, ice pack underwear that have uh, that are being marketed for sake of increasing testosterone. Now, I am not aware of any specific well-controlled studies that show that this indeed works. I can imagine, based on what I know about the nervous system, testosterone and cold, etc., that there are a couple of mechanisms by which one might experience increases in testosterone as a consequence of deliberate cold exposure. One could, of course, take a cold shower. One could, of course, use uh, cold immersion of various kinds, and you're still going to get that exposure um, of the groin and the testicles to cold. Now, I should point out that people do report, at least anecdotally, increases in testosterone as a consequence of this practice. And I have to imagine that they are measuring their serum testosterone, that they're not just guessing that their testosterone went up. But I can imagine two reasonably plausible mechanisms by which deliberate cold exposure to the groin, in particular the testicles, would increase testosterone. The first is somewhat direct, which is that anytime you cool a body surface, that if it's cold enough, you're going to get vasoconstriction. And then subsequently, you're going to get a rebound increase in vasodilation, meaning you're going to constrict the blood vessels in that area. And then after the cold is removed, there's going to be more blood flow to that area. And of course, blood flow relates to organ health and tissue health generally. So perfusion of that region and those uh, and the gonads, to be specific, with additional blood, you could imagine in some ways increasing testosterone. That's reasonably plausible. The other probably more likely mechanism, again, anytime you have a somewhat stressful stimulus, but in particular with cold exposure, it seems that the catecholamines, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine all increase. And dopamine is known to be in the pathway that can stimulate testosterone. And so while there isn't a direct relationship between dopamine stimulating testosterone, there is an interesting pathway whereby dopamine increases can trigger increases in things like luteinizing hormone, which can trigger increases in testosterone as well as estrogen for that matter.